You're looking at scientists from the Beijing Institute of Technology, putting the finishing touches on an experiment that will be conducted in the unforgiving environment of space. It's work that will help determine whether humans can survive a prolonged journey in space, where astronauts are bombarded with 10 times the radiation levels on Earth. Space radiation could cause harm to the astronauts, especially when they are in space for a long period of time. One of the biggest risks from spaceflight is gene mutation. We hope to do more research on this and learn how big the risk of gene mutation is for humans in space. It's potentially groundbreaking research, but Professor Dung and his team have already made history. Despite the fact there is a strict U.S. law that prohibits NASA from doing work with China, this will be the first Chinese experiment ever flown on the International Space Station. Every day you feel like, hey, we might be making a huge discovery today that will affect all of humanity. Lift off of the Falcon 9 to the space station. The Chinese experiment will be carried to the ISS on a SpaceX rocket, privately funded. It's all legal and above board because a private U.S.-based company called NanoRax is handling the payload and works closely with NASA and bills itself as a concierge to the stars. And we do pride ourselves on being uh, a vehicle that uh, educational entities can come to and go through the system in, in a less intimidating uh, fashion. Uh, we spend a lot of time uh, making the process as easy and as painless as we can for our customers. But obviously the Beijing Institute of Technology has had its share of challenges. What you see is the culmination of two years of work and negotiations to make sure it's done legally and within strict U.S. government guidelines. Space separation confirmed. Good luck, stage one. But there are no artificial country borders in space, and Deng relishes the chance to make history. This is the first time China has an experiment on the International Space Station. Spaceflight experiments are very important because space provides a special environment that we cannot have on Earth. Therefore, we should fully utilize the station to do life science research. NanoRax hopes to work with BIT and other Chinese groups in the future, hoping this gene experiment paves the way for more international cooperation. This will actually be the fourth experiment that Deng and his team are sending into space. The first three were carried into orbit by the growing Chinese space program. And all of this effort to link up with the International Space Station could become moot in just a few years. China hopes to have its own space station up and operating as soon as 2020. Sean Caleb, CGTN in Cape Canaveral, Florida.